silver dollar likely stretches further in Aurora or Parker than, say, an Aspen or Vail. That is why some lawmakers say a worker's minimum wage should be set at different rates. Sean Chitness joins us live to talk more about this tonight. And Sean, some workers and business owners argue the same minimum wage statewide just simply doesn't work. Yeah, Karen, workers telling us that they are unable to make ends meet because of the expenses they have under the minimum wage. And business owners telling us that they aren't able to compete with some of these other companies that pay the same rate for their employees across Colorado. I work seven days a week and I still am not making it. Marilyn Sorensen is a home health care worker. She says her field doesn't pay employees enough to live off their wages. And working in Denver, the cost of living is one of the highest in the state. I have to monitor every move I make to make sure that I have money. So state leaders want to change a law. They want local leaders to decide the right minimum wage for each community. Our state is so diverse that what works for Denver is not necessarily going to work for Greeley or Trinidad. Restaurant owner Adam Allman said he can't compete with fast food chains who pay the same rate across Colorado. He says he pays workers a fair rate based on his location in Denver's Park Hill neighborhood. The more that people are paid, the more spending the money they have, the more they're going to come and frequent my restaurant. He wants to see everyone in Denver paying what workers need to live in this city. A restaurant is a long game, right? Like, we're not, you know, we're not getting rich overnight in the restaurant business. And supporters say without this change, wages will still move at a slow rate that doesn't keep up with their expenses. I've been a care provider for almost 25 years, and from the time I started, I barely make a dollar and a half more. So today we saw support from several lawmakers, including those in the Senate. But first, this bill needs to be introduced in the House and assigned to a committee there. Live tonight at the State Capitol, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first. A lot of people struggling. Sean, thank you. The